Okay, we're doing a silly little library vlog because I'm about to go on my lunch break and I am desperate for a five star because I have not had very many five stars this year. If you watched my mid-year check-in, um, that trend has continued. I believe I have 12 five stars out of the 88 books that I've read this year and that's not enough. So I'm abandoning all strategy and I'm going to the library. So. I'm gonna be looking for a handful of books and just hoping to gather some joy. I've been sick a little earlier in the week and I just need to pick me up and I can't really go out and buy books for reasons. The library it is, my friends. Come along and join me, let's do it. I will be honest with you, I do not know the YouTube etiquette around driving and talking at the same time, but I am gonna film this clip because I only have a limited amount of time on my lunch break and I want to use my drive time to tell you guys a little bit about how I've been doing. So yeah, like I said, I am really desperately looking for a five star and I do feel like my audiobooks have just really not been doing it for me. I've been listening to a handful of thrillers over the past few months that have just been very mediocre. I'm trying to talk about this in a way that doesn't sound like I'm complaining but I've been getting a lot of threes and fours and I want fives. I will not like everything has to be a five, but I would like some to be a five. Okay, let me tell you about the fives that I've had recently. I read All the Sinners Bleed by S.A. Cosby. Oh my goodness, that book was so good. And I listened to that actually via audiobook and that was alone from the library. It was a really dark Southern Gothic thriller and it was about a um, town's first black sheriff um, trying to handle this insane, like multiple homicide serial killer murder case. And it was like a very small town and there's a bunch of like politics that were going on around him. It was just very nuanced, very creative. And also the writing was just absolutely stunning. Essentially that book is a five because I truly don't think there's anything I would change about it. That was my only five star last month in October. I'm throwing caution to the wind here and I'm going to let my little heart pick whatever book she wants and whatever book I feel called to and feel like is gonna give me a five star. I don't buy books in the way that a lot of readers and especially people on booktube right now are buying books. I don't buy books in a sporadic and emotionally led way. Um, and I feel like that might actually be hindering me. <laughs> I like having a small TBR and I would prefer it that way and I don't want to just like mood buy a bunch of books that I don't end up reading uh, because you know by the time I get to them or like have the space for them on my TBR that like I don't read them and then they sit on my shelf for a year and then by then I'm not interested. That's happened to me before. I'm just not willing to book buy like that anymore. However, I feel like, for example, Throne of the Fallen by Carrie Maniscalco came out and I really enjoyed Kingdom of the Wicked by her and I feel like if I were a mood buyer, reader, I would buy that book and read it right now and it could be five star. I'm torn, truly. I've gone through my Goodreads and picked out a few that I would really be in the mood for that I do not own and I am going to go to the library and see how many I can find. Okay, we did it. Let me give you the tour of what I got. I got six books and the lady 
like checked me out or whatever it's called at the library. And she looked at me and she was like, three weeks. <laughs> okay, well you can see on the top I got Happy Place um, by Emily Henry. I've been really looking forward to this. I've actually had this on hold for quite some time, so I'm super happy that it came through. And I love Emily Henry's writing. This is a romance. Everyone says that the setting is so important to this. It's like set in summer. I'm gonna read it in winter. Do I care? No. I've given five stars to Beach Read and Book Lovers by her, so high hopes. Also, this is fake dating, so my favorite trope. This next one is called The Lonely Hearts Hotel by Heather O'Neill, and I've had this book on my radar for literally like three years, and I just feel like now is the time. So I had put it on hold um, a few days ago and it came through. These are the only two books that I like plan to get today. So this is a historical fiction, but it has like fantasy in it, and The Lonely Hearts Hotel is like this fantastical like hotel, and it's about two sisters who are separated at birth and it's meant to be quite moving and also kind of like love conquers all type of feel. So I think I would enjoy this a lot. Next up is romantic comedy. I checked this out earlier in the year and it was just calling to me again. So I grabbed it. It's a like a contemporary romance story and it's about um, a lady who writes for SNL and it's about like comedy. And I really enjoy The Marvelous Sisters Maisel and I do occasionally watch SNL. I'm not like the biggest fan, but I do like it. And I feel like I could enjoy this book. Mm -hmm. Now we're kind of getting into the wild cards here. So Leech is a horror that I have like been looking at for a little while. It's like a medical horror and it has an isolated setting. So those two things means I'm happy. The Betrayals, I would love to do like a video of reading Dark Academia, but plot twist, it's ones you haven't heard of. I feel like everyone reads the same, like If We Were Villains by Emil Rio and The Secret History, Atlas Six. I feel like those are like the well-known ones, but The Betrayals is another Dark Academia and it's got an Academy setting. And um, I do think it's only historical fiction. Don't think there's anything magical going on in here. This has been on my radar for a little while. And last but not least is something to talk about. I've, this is also a like contemporary romance story. I've got all books that were on my Goodreads TBR, which is cool. I heard Noelle Gallagher talk about this book like over a year ago now. And it is about like fame and romance. And I'm pretty sure that two people like start to be put together in like the tabloids and it's like, oh no, like we can't let everyone know that we're together type of thing. And after saying no comment, no comment, no comment, these two women are like working on the same project and then they actually like begin to fall in love, I think. So I'm excited for this one too. So we are really all over the place. I mean, I do stick within my genres, let me tell you. So we have three romances and contemporary like women's fiction. We have one horror, we have one historical fiction and then one fantasy historical fiction, so. I feel strongly that Happy Place will be a five star. I also feel strongly that Leech could be a five star. My other prediction would be The Lonely Hearts Hotel just because of how long I've wanted to read this book and like whenever I go through my TBR to like remove things from it, I always end up rereading the synopsis. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll keep it on there. I know I want to read that. I think these are the ones that I will prioritize. The others I know that I will enjoy, but like, I don't really want another like four star or three star book. I want to be reading five star books. Okay, there has been a man sitting in the car next to me for the entire time I've been talking to you. So I'm ready to wrap this up. Thank you for joining me on this little mini vlog as I try and uplift my spirits during my work day and it worked. I feel like a lot more energized. That is all I got for you for this video and I hope that you enjoyed this. If you like other bookish content like this, feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you. And other than that, have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.